talk about this guy right here. A little early, but I'm hungry. That's always good news. Alright, so John. Say what's up, John? What's up, Terry? John is gonna help me out today, man. Typical New York. Busy everywhere. I just want y'all to see how clean John is. See, this is how I stepped out the house. This is John with the three-piece German suit. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, first of all, this hotel is dope. It's called, uh, Normal Soho. <laughs> What's up, guys? So we are at day two of New York, and I'm having some breakfast with some pretty dope people. Let me let me turn this around real quick. What up, peoples? How's it going? What up, log? <laughs> so, like I said, I'm hanging with some pretty dope people, and unfortunately, I'm out of coffee. So, uh, we will come back and let you know what's happening throughout the day. I'm gonna take a second to kind of let you guys know what's been happening these last two days. This is actually my second day in New York. Honestly, I got here yesterday, but I was too tired to film. It was just, it was just hectic. So if you don't know how I got here, Casey Neistat was generous enough and nice enough to invite me out to New York for the Creators Conference for Thanksgiving. So big shout out to Casey if you're watching this video, man. Thank you for bringing me out here in such style. I really appreciate it. But I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity, man. I, I get it. Not a lot of people get this opportunity. I am of a chosen few. And that's that's super dope thinking about that. I never thought YouTube would be anything. And this is great for me. It's great for my family and all the other good stuff. But this is day two of the Creators Conference. So let me show you the hotel that we stay in there. Hold on. As you can see, the hotel is everything, bro, everything. But anyways, like I said, this is day two. So I'm gonna bring you guys into everything and you know, we gonna share this experience. So without further ado, bye. finally arrived at Central Park. I got some friends with me. Say what's up, y'all. What's up? <laughs> Where you at? What's up? Say what's hey, up. Hey, what's up? <laughs> and uh, we just out here killing time until the event later. So we in Central Park. I don't know what we about to do. We might end up on like Law & Order. Like Olivia Benson might end up in this vlog. <laughs> If I can find her or whatever, as long as she ain't trying to arrest me or nothing like that. But we about to just figure it out, go have some fun, and get ready for this event later. Peace. Okay, so apparently there's a raccoon distemper advisory, and if it's one thing I don't do, it's raccoons. So let me find out a raccoon out here wilding, and it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. It's that one raccoon always starting stuff. It's gonna be a problem. Real quick, since we out here, I wanted to kind of talk about the fear of vlogging in public now i know a lot of people have made videos on this but it ultimately boils down to you just got to stop caring what people think of you and get it done man i mean you get weird looks everywhere we've been walking through the park 
all of us have cameras in our hands and you just got to get over the fact that people no matter what you are doing or who you are or how good you look or how bad you look or whatever it is people are always going to have something to say so if you delete that out of your head and focus on yo getting your message to the camera doing what you got to do that fear of vlogging in public and what people might think of you you'll get over it real quick All right, man, we are in the lobby waiting on Tech Me Out. And um, as, as usual, she's taking forever, but we're going to give her a pass today. Uh, as you see, we had that kind of switch clothes. Switched it to a fitted sweat. Y'all know I like my clothes kind of fitted. And then uh, Devin over here. What up, y'all? Got the got the mix the hustle going on. You know, I had to stay clean for you guys. So this is what we rock. And uh, on top of that, it was kind of chilly outside. But we about to head to the event, man. We about 15 minutes out. Honestly, I don't really know what to expect. All I know is I'm grateful. I'm excited. I'm gonna bring you guys into it. I'm not about to make it, you know, super long and all that. But I'm gonna bring you into the experience. So I'll hit you up when I get there. Peace. Hey, what up, 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 Outside of 368, as you see, we early, man. Doors ain't even open yet, so I guess, uh, guess we gotta wait. They're letting us in. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hey, hey, what's up, man? All right. Hi, can I just check your guys' names just so I can check you guys off? Yes. Carrie? Yes. So we are at 368. What's up, what up? Pop out. There's a lot of dope people in here, man. Well, including me, but there's a lot of dope people in here. Look who I found. Casey Neistat. You're talking man. about me. Yeah, I'm talking about this guy right here. Thank you for coming out. Thanks, man. Thanks really for really responding to my DM. Sure, man. We try, we're trying to do these events often just an excuse to get together people from you know every facet of the creator community because I feel like that's something that's really been lacking, especially here on the East Coast. And every every time we do one of these little events, it's a big learning experience for us. It's over. We're being kicked out. <laughs> Did end that night. We're gonna get out of here though. Great event, man. Oh, it is raining out here, y'all. So as you saw, like it was just a huge creators event for Thanksgiving, just with all of these great, great creators all in one room. I'm talking about creators of all walks of life, all coming together for a greater purpose and a common cause. And it was honestly some of the best energy I've ever experienced for it. <laughs> All the opportunities I've gotten up until this day, man, it just blows my mind that I even get opportunities like this. And I guess it's a, I guess it's a testament to just keep working. You know what I'm saying? And a testament to you, you never know who's watching. We get caught up at smaller channels, um, whether it be YouTube or whether it be anything else, and thinking that your work is not recognized or thinking that it's not appreciated, but. Even though your video might only get 100 views, you never know of those 100 views, who those 100 viewers were. And what if one of those people was somebody that could change your life, okay? So the reason I'm saying that is you need to put all your effort into whatever it is that you're doing because you never know 
who is watching. I'm tired, so I'm just going to go to sleep. How about that? I'm going to just go to sleep because I'm tired. So with that being said, I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Peace. Tuesday morning, time to get out of here, man. I had a great time at this hotel. Big thank you to Nomo Soho Hotel for showing all the hospitality to your boy, man. I really appreciate it. We're about to head back over to 368, get ready to wrap stuff up. So see y'all in a second. What's up, y'all? So, yeah, we at 368, man, just kind of wrapping everything up. And since this was a Thanksgiving event, let me just kind of remind you to be thankful for something, even if you feel like there's nothing to be thankful for. There's always, always, always something to be thankful for. So what we wanted to do is kind of tell you, since a lot of you guys been asking, what was the journey getting from where we were at to 368 and Casey Neistat and everybody else that's been involved in you know, being a part of the event. What was the journey like? So Devin, why don't you tell them what your journey was like? All right, so man, for me, um, it's actually an inter interesting story. So uh, about three weeks ago or so, um, so I do a series on my channel called Rap Tech of the Month. Um, if you guys may have seen it, if not, um, I'll make sure to, you know, have it down below or whatnot. But there's a series that's out on the channel uh, called Rap Tech of the Month. And uh, Casey, just kind of long story short, Casey actually saw that content and was able to retweet it out there um, and then from there, things just kind of took off from there with the series. Um, and uh, extremely thankful for that, man. Just It's just super dope. And so from there, kind of fast forwarding up three weeks later, um, I get a actual uh, DM request uh, from him and he send out the actual invitation just saying, hey, you know, uh, I know it's, you know, quick turnaround or whatnot, but and this was actually on a Friday. And he was saying that I know it's quick turnaround that uh, I want you guys to actually, I want you to come out to New York and uh, be a part of this, um, you know, 368 Thanksgiving Emerging Creators event that he threw on here. And um, I was just like, absolutely. Like, I don't care if it was, Duh. you know, exactly. It's like, I don't care if it was, you know, uh, Sunday. And he's like, hey, I need you out here, like, in three hours. I'm, I'm on a plane, no doubt. So, uh, linked up with his people, and next thing I know, I'm here in New York. So mine was a little different. I actually, I got a funny story, man. So uh, Friday night, I fell asleep watching Casey's um, video where he cut the diamond play button in half. And I actually fell asleep on that video. That night, I had a dream that if you guys, I don't know if you know what Creator on the Rise is, but it's a little thing YouTube does where they boost smaller channels to like epic proportions. Well, I had a dream I hit that, right? So I woke up and I'm just sitting in the other room. My daughter got my phone and all of a sudden it's like my phone keeps going off and I'm thinking it's our group chat and these guys <laughs> like being knuckleheads messaging back and forth. It's and it's, um, it's, hey, Casey Neistat sent me a tweet, a public tweet like, uh, Terry, I need to get in contact with you. Uh, can you follow me so I could DM you? I wasn't following Casey, like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I followed him and then he immediately sent me an invite, like, you know, dude, I love your stuff. Why don't you come out? We're having an event on Monday. I know it's short notice. And I was like, uh, dude, I'm already on the plane. So you don't even have to <laughs> tell me nothing else. So that was the experience, man. So anything else you want to add? Yeah, man, just kind of just kind of alluding to that as far as just this being the whole Thanksgiving season and the holiday season, man. Just one of the things I want to just talk about as far as being thankful for is just simply, um, you know, just thankful for the community, you guys, of course, for, because without you guys watching our content or anything like that, we wouldn't be sitting here uh, currently in the basement at 368 with all this amazing uh, technology that's down here, a lot of the cool people that works here. People. And um, it, so it really all, it, you know, goes down to you guys as far as what we're thankful for. And so the other thing is, is just keep pushing. Don't, don't worry about, you know, you're not getting the views because I've been there as well. Uh, I've been to that point where I've been discouraged I'm still about there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been discouraged about you know not getting certain views on this video well this video is doing great and this one's not so just keep pushing no matter what because you never know who is watching your content and again major shout out to Casey man and the entire crew here and also Samsung mobile for you know setting up this entire thing man it has just been an amazing time for sure absolutely hey man we love y'all. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys check out Devin's channel. If you're on Devin's channel, come into my channel. Of course. Check my channel out too. <laughs> about to get out of here. Flight is leaving soon, man. Peace. Yeah. Much love. Y'all already know. Piece of chicken grease. See y'all later. Peace.